Eco Communities for World Change. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 291. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 291, October 21st, 2018 edition. One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And to accomplish that, all aspects of a sustainable civilization are included in the open source tools, tutorials, resources, new age self instructions that we are creating. And today what I'd like to talk about is very specific to that. It's eco communities for world change. And what you see happening in the background here are the housing foundations of that. So we're building seven or designing seven different sustainable village models and a replicable, duplicable city center that will be the center of one community and then expand outwards, starting with the Earth Bag Village. And you can see these things happening in the background of the video here right now, which are the seven different sustainable villages, the city center, but also we have an open source education program. We have highest good energy infrastructure, highest good food infrastructure, fulfilled living strategies, and open source tools, tutorials, and resources, as well as global or stewardship and highest good economic models, everything necessary to create eco-communities for world change, a global cooperative and a global collaborative of eco-communities for world change. And we're open sourcing and free sharing it as an evolution of sustainability that includes all those physical foundations of sustainability that I just mentioned, the food, the energy, and the housing, and combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we think are equally as important, as important and possibly even more important for eco-communities for world change. And those emotional foundations that we've identified are our highest good education models, fulfilled living models, the highest good economic models, as well as the truer stewardship. So putting all that stuff together is an evolution of sustainability to create a way of life that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. More time to do the things that people want to do, a higher quality living experience as far as the foundations, the food, energy, and the housing, creating higher quality food, higher quality water, you know, a better, healthier living environment, as well as those emotional foundations, the education models, the economic models, the fulfilled living models, the true stewardship models, putting people in control of their environments and building eco communities for world change that work together globally to create more and more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions for even more replication, expansion, evolution, growth, and improvement on everything that we're creating. And so we're open sourcing it so that everything we're doing can be implemented as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub designed to be replicated anywhere in the world and to invite people to participate, to invite people to experience what it is that we're creating, to invite people to come and live in an earth bag home or a straw bale home or a cob home or a compressed earth block home or a recycled materials home or a treehouse village all of these things or a shipping container village all of these things so people can come and experience it and be like wow i like the way that this looks or i like the feeling of this i like the experience of living in a home that is built from the earth you know and everything that they see everything that a person experiences they will be able to instantly download the plans access videos access the website with all the written tutorials all these things this is what we're creating and this is our idea for eco communities for world change if we can demonstrate eco communities for world change is easy enough as affordable enough and demonstrate them as attractive enough they will spread on their own and if you run the numbers on that the idea of 50 people coming together to start one community, which will grow ultimately to a, uh, a permanent population of thousands, hosting hundreds of thousands of people annually. But if you start with just a group of 50 and you imagine that group of 50, our initial pioneer team, starting to build one community, if what we're doing can inspire two more groups the following year to begin something similar, using our plans, the open source resources, the do-it-yourself instructions to start eco-communities of their own. And they don't have to be remote eco-communities. They could be eco-communities within urban environments as well. 
So if that first group can inspire two more groups, and then if those three groups together can inspire four more groups the year following, in the third year, and in the fourth year, eight more groups, and in the fifth year, 16 more groups starting globally with just 20 to 50 people, and then the year after that, 32 and 64, and if we can create that self-replicating model, run the numbers, and within 30 years, we can include the entire human population. Now, realistically, the entire human population is not going to participate. There are people that are not going to want to give up their Lear jets. They're not going to give up, want to give up their private estates that are absolutely massive, and they don't need to. Only a small percentage of the population needs to participate in something like this. And participation means implementation in a variety, a radical, massive, huge variety of different ways. The way that we're creating this, the foundations of what we're creating are created for the highest good of all life with a consciousness for the highest good of all life. But that foundation can be adapted and modified in any way that somebody wants. And we believe that it's because it's created with that foundation that any way that somebody modifies it is still a step in the right direction. If you're building off of what we're creating, it's still a step in the right direction. And so that idea of a self-replicating model, we don't need to include the whole human population. We could. In 30 years, we can include the whole human population. But if we could just include 10% of the whole human population, that would be sufficient, most likely, to reach that tipping point where it would positively and permanently impact the lives of every single person on this planet. And we would be providing an option for anybody that wants it, that's easy enough, affordable enough, and truly is a more attractive way to live than the way that most people are living right now. And this is what our all-volunteer nonprofit organization and team is all about. None of us are paid for what we're doing, and we are doing this because we want to see a world that works this way. We believe that a world that works for everybody is possible. We believe that sustainable civilization is the future that we are all working towards, and we think that creating a new paradigm that makes the old paradigm obsolete, as Buckminster Fuller says, really is the pathway to transforming human civilization to paradise on earth, to a world that works for everybody, for helping everyone. And this, we think, is the most noble venture, adventure, that we could be participating in. And that's one of the main reasons why we're doing it. And this is why we're creating Eco Communities for World Change, because we want a world that works for everybody. And we know we can create a world that works for everybody through Eco Communities for World Change. And that's what we're doing. So with all that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments as we're building all the details that you see happening in the background of the video here and so much more. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued developing the online details for the new One Community Home Shares page that shares our structure for individualized and expanded designs of the standard homes in the Earth Bank Village and beyond. This week, we finished the page by adding the rollout details, summary, and FAQ sections. You can see some of this work here. Heymanth Kotaru, structural engineer, completed his 24th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earth Bank Village. This week's focus was second generation nail calculations and creating this initial open source nail evaluation tool. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 26th week leading the development of the Murphy bed instructions. This week, he added in the main swivel connector and further developed all the bed box attachment details. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, also continued working on the Earth Bag Village. Here's weekly update 134 from Dean. His focus this week was creating version 2 of our ADA compliant bathroom and kitchen layout, brainstorming version 3, and more updates to the integration of the latest regular bathroom and kitchen layout into the three dome cluster, all of which you can see here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working in SketchUp on the Duplical City Center Dining Dome roof. After determining further changes needed to be made to be sure the shell lines up correctly with the floor levels, we rebuilt the dome shell using each row level and side size, and then updated the door and window openings, as shown here. 
and the core team working with Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, also continue developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 100th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was test rendering the social dome with different colored lights and organizing and providing all the final Dialux testing files. Aparna Tandon, architect, also continued with her second week helping with the design and evaluation details for applying the well building standards to the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was researching our best approach for integration and then creating a well spreadsheet and checklist that includes lead standards. You can see some of this work here. Doa Feng, civil engineer, also completed his 25th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Open Source Hub. This week, he finished all the spreadsheet calculation updates for zones C and D, created the parts list for the complete system, and resized the reservoir. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind-the-scenes narrative in the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we created the details for the chicken coop on our food rollout Google Doc and researched and viewed coop construction videos. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team started updating all our help wanted pages for volunteers. We created four new pages and updated half of the existing pages. This week, the core team working with Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, continued collaboration on our new online marketing strategy and our related grant. This week's focus was analyzing results and exploring ways to improve our conversion strategy. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his second week helping the marketing team. This week's focus for Emilio was keyword research for food specialists, electrical engineers slash electrician volunteers, legal slash lawyers slash attorney volunteers, and industrial designer volunteers, some of which you can see here. This week, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, and Shubra Mittal, software delivery manager, continued developing the software. This week, they worked on fixing bugs for the user interface for deleting users, fixed a bug that made a user unable to update their email address, fixed an issue of names not appearing correctly in emails for blue squares, fixed issues with auto assignment of blue squares, and added more text to all pop-up windows clarifying how to save new data. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of eco-communities for world change. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. And you'll get one email a week from us uh, announcing these updates as they come out. If you'd like to help, visit our helping page. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information, to engage with us, to follow our information, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, is the easiest way to help out or sharing our information on social media. But if you 
visit our helping page. There is a broad diversity of different ways to help out, including, of course, donating to our nonprofit. 100% of donations go to uh, forwarding our open source mission and goals. None of those go to payments for me or anybody else on our team. We're 100% unpaid, all volunteer staff. So if you'd like to donate to us or if you have donated to us, thank you so much. It does make a difference. Helps cover our operational expenses uh, and keeps forwarding our mission. If you just watched to the end, thank you for that. If you're just supporting by liking our posts or sharing our posts, that makes a big difference. Every little bit makes a difference. So uh, thank you. Thank you for helping us for this idea of eco communities for world change. We're here to create a world that works for everybody. You're invited to participate in whatever works for you. And uh, we're grateful to have you on board. Till next time, thank you. And we will keep on keeping on.